Welcome back to the channel guys. XRP is in the headlines again. I know people love to hate on the channel for XRP. My main purpose here is to make money and XRP, if it's not making me money, I don't want to be in it. So that's what I talk about on the channel. If you are wanting to get elated and wrapped up in all of these groups and just get giddy about your investing, you've come to the wrong place. I'm looking for long-term investments and I use trading to build up my portfolio in order to then invest it long-term. So if you're still getting strung up with emotions of the market, swinging between your fear and your greed and back again, you are going to lose long-term in the markets. If you wanna get all excited about it, because you put some money down, you've worked so hard for that cash, and then you gotta put your money into something and it doesn't do anything, you gotta be emotionless, and you wanna be emotional about it, you will lose it at the end of time. If you wanna play that game and you wanna be around the herd of sheep that love to fly at the seat of their pants and uh, gamble on whatever the hell they want, that is entirely up to you. I understand that a lot of people are in that space. It's sort of like a young thing. I did it when I was in my 20s. It's just part of our young male psychology to be wrapped up in the freaking nonsense and trying to gamble on everything because our egos get involved and we want to jump to the next best thing to say that we proved the next person wrong that we made money. The market doesn't care. The whole idea of what I do and what I try to teach other people and some people do find it valuable is to play the long game. Make your money in whatever it is that you do. Provide value to the world. Provide value in some way, whether you think it's value to you or you don't think it's value to the, well, the other person doesn't think it's value for what you're doing. Just get out there, do your cool thing. So that's enough of the whole personal development space. Let's take a look at Ripple now. If you guys in Australia that are looking to buy Ripple, this is SwiftX. I've got a link in the description down below. Ripple, AUD. Purchase it here if you are overseas. There is a Binance link down there as well. But for the Aussie guys, all you gotta do is come over here. It's the quickest way to get Ripple. It's very easy to set up. The verification process is super quick and you don't have to wait for all of these letters to come out to you if you get stuck with some sort of problem verifying your account. All you gotta do is come over here, click trade, click buy, put in XRP, that's it. Move down here, how much Ripple do you want? Or in dollars, how much do you want in dollars? Instant buy, done. You're basically just transferring the money to your account through the deposit, and then it's in there. Do a quick transfer. There is very quick transfers through there. That's the quickest, easiest way to get into Ripple if you're looking to be buying or selling your Ripple. Some people have been stuck because exchanges are not accepting Ripple anymore, like Coinbase, etc. So if you are an Aussie, this is probably the fastest, easiest way. If you're an international, I do have Binance down in the description down below. They also have XRP. For the US guys, I believe there is Kraken that you can still use for XRP, but you'll probably have to wait for a KYC verification process. Here we are at Ripple. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing down below. I don't usually go on about the whole personal development space. I do enjoy it and I love it. I see the huge value in it when it comes to our trading and investing. And it is a real emotional thing when it comes to XRP. The fanboys get so in love with a cryptocurrency, they wanna marry the damn thing. Remember our motto is hit it and quit it. We just wanna be emotionless, make the money and move on. Talked about XRP in the video a couple of days ago now, Elon Musk BTC dump. This is what I'm doing in the video right here, looking at about a 60, 70% push up. And I said, XRP's done nothing, but it's setting up. You can see it's just a nice little setup to move. I said, I'm not getting into this trade for one main reason is that I have other investments to get involved with. XRP is only just coming back to the point where it dumped. I've had Uni, I've had One Inch, we've had Dot, to name a few, API3, that have all made money while XRP has pumped and dumped and gone sideways. In the future, it will make money, okay? It's probably going to pump pretty decently after SEC rulings and we start to see some good news come through. But overall, there are other opportunities out there. So that's enough of that side of things. I honestly wanna keep talking about it in every video because people get way too emotional about these sorts of things. It blows my mind. If you're here long term, you wanna make some money, you gotta take the emotions out. XRP, we've had the pump. What do we do next? If you have been holding since the top, what do you do? If it was me holding from the top, I would be starting to set my stops beneath some of these daily 
lows, okay? Why would I be doing that? Just in case this thing turns around and pulls back. With a pump and dump, we're hearing about it. Uh, I talked about it that Wall Street bets specifically talked about it on their Reddit and there are other groups forming, in particular one on Telegram here, buy and hold XRP. People said on my previous video that Wall Street bets have got nothing to do with this, they don't do cryptocurrencies, etc. I literally showed one of the articles from probably someone who's not an original member, maybe, from Wall Street Bets, and they were talking about XRP. That was on the previous video. So whether it's Wall Street Bets, whether it's another group like I showed here, Telegram, 200,000 members now trying to pump this thing at specifically 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is in about six hours from now uh, of this filming time. Uh, the pump, I think a lot of it has already happened. People are trying to front run the pump. If you know about a pump, wouldn't you just want to get in earlier than the pump? It, it makes sense to be getting in earlier than waiting for the time of the pump. And if you get in earlier than the pump, then you're going to get much bigger multiple returns than if you wait until the pump time. So it is possible that we have seen a lot of that move already. We don't know. So that's what I'm saying. If I got caught out in this top, because look at all the volume, huge volume at the top, noobs, sheep, all those sort of guys are buying up here. Sorry to say, maybe that's you that was buying at that point. I would be, if it was me, I'd be uh, holding onto my position because I could get my money back here after I have wasted two months or more of the market going sideways and I'm just not getting any return on my money. So the reason why I'm holding it beneath these levels is if we start to get a reversal, then it might be that the market is about to crap the bed again and XRP could be over. Now, another safe way to look at it is just hold the level beneath support and resistance. So we've got a support line here at around that 48 to 50 cents. We've seen it hold before, we've seen it break down. We've now seen it come above that level. So that's a stronger sign for XRP. You'll notice the people in the comments who hate on the videos uh, because I'm talking about XRP just from an emotionalist, as much as I can, uh, point of view, they want to see this thing skyrocket. And so we're starting to see it push up now as I'm talking about it. And they think that my little video is going to really affect the market. I guess they just don't understand how the markets work. Underneath these levels are probably a good starting point to start to recover some of those losses. So 42 cents, I'm looking at the low here. That's where I'm uh, pegging it to, that's 43. So let's peg it about a cent beneath that low point. And then as the market starts to show its hand, we can move these up. So if we wanted to get a little bit closer to the market, Sure, let's get into a four hour chart because we're just on a daily chart. Now we see on the four hour chart that we've got a lot of congestion at that area that we were just looking at around that 45 to 50 cents. We've only seen one small swing in the four hour chart, uh, which was about a day ago. So about four or five bars ago. So we could bring it up to around that point and that's still leaving us at around that 41, 42 cents. The next level is around these closes at around 46 cents. And then we have to just wait and see what the market does from here. And we are starting to push up a little bit stronger leading in to this 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which like I said, is coming up in about five and a half, six hours from now. So the front running is on. So where do we end up from here? We can see there are some highs that are starting to get taken out. Let's hope we hold above these. We've got five minutes to go on this four hour chart. So holding above this 61 cents is setting us up nicely to go on to break the next level, which is 68. And then the following levels are around that 75 cent to 80 cent level. So if we can close above 80 cents prior to the 830. That might be a stronger sign to get a real pump on after that point. The downside to this, the flip side, is that everyone has front run this pump and dump time. It's not how pump and dumps work. It should be that you have a time set and then you tell people, you tell the group, whoever it is, what the coin, what the stock, whatever asset it is that you're going to pump. If you know beforehand, it's just human psychology, you're gonna get in first. It, it just blows my mind why people think this is gonna be the case. So even if it does move up from there and, and you've got the, small hands, the weak hands, the dumb money, holding on until 8.30 in the morning and the market is already at around 80 cents by that point, they might get a pump on from there. Maybe it gets to a dollar because that's like a psychological level and people are ecstatic that it's got to a dollar and they're gonna go, I proved you wrong, it got to a dollar. But at the end of the day, they're the losers from 80 cents to a dollar to $2. There's just 
not that much in it for those huge risk. Say we got to $2 as well. We're up here at 150, there's only 80%. The guys, say we got to $1.50, that's 80%, 90%. The guys who were front running it down here at 28 cents as it broke out of the resistance, say 30 cents just for a round number. These guys are already up 400%. And that's a good way or a good position to be dumping back onto the market to the dumb money that has waited to this period. We don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just saying that it's a good idea to have this in mind that maybe a lot of the big money has come in already and is taking the bigger gains at the bottom. We, we just don't know yet. All I'm looking at here is the volume as well. Look at, look at this massive volume come through here. If I bring it back onto a daily, you can see the volume. One, two, three volume bars have picked up tremendously. The same sort of volume that we saw on the breakdown of the SEC lawsuit and then the same little breakup after the Spark Flare token announcement through there. So it has seen a lot of volume, uh, which is comparable to the SEC lawsuit and the Flare token announcement. What happened after that massive volume? Nothing. Sideways, crashed. What happened after this massive volume? Sideways and a pump. What happens after this massive volume? sideways maybe down we don't know yet but history on these last few times very recent history with that amount of volume has shown the market has just gone sideways after big volume what am i talking about if you can't see it yourself volume volume that's it there and then it just started tapering off there's the massive volume it couldn't get shaken down anymore from that point just traded across so we're up Maybe we just trade across until we head down again. Retest these levels. That's not such a bad thing at 40 cents. Maybe it holds, maybe it doesn't. But I'm just cautious that the amount of volume that has come in after these pumps already is probably leaning to the very, very cautious side that maybe we do see 80 cents, 90 cents, a dollar, somewhere in there. It's just not worth the returns at this point. Probably by the time you see this video, maybe it's gonna be at 70 cents. Maybe it's back down to 50 and the pumps already happened. It's basically, learn to read the chart. There's the breakout through there, like I was talking about on this video. You can see it there. We're saying there's a little setup. There's a nice little push. I wasn't looking for 60 or 70 cents. I was just looking to get out at the resistance of the previous point here that it dumped on. As I talk, I have a mate saying to me, are you ready for the XRP pump? I hope he doesn't lose his money, James. I'm talking to you. If it's me and I got stuck up here, I'll be tracking the market to try and get my money back, hopefully make some profits. Fingers crossed for you guys if you got stuck, get the gains, make the gains move on. XRP could do fantastically well. So if you're up there and you need to take a little bit of cash out, maybe keep some in there to roll on and get these massive gains and Ripple goes to five bucks as I saw someone put in one of their thumbnails earlier. The whole idea is to stay in the game with your capital so that you can use it again. You don't wanna be some sort of hero uh, like I got called in a video earlier, you gotta be a, I'm not a coward. I'm looking after my money. If you wanna be some degenerate hero that throws their money into the market uh, to prove something to someone that you don't even know, go ahead, lose your money. Have a look at what your returns could be. And from this point, it's going to get very volatile. So let's stick with it. Let's check it out tomorrow. Fingers crossed to you guys, if you got stuck up here, and you can make some money, full well hope you do, because that's at the end of the day, that's what we're here for, let's make some cash. And uh, for the guys who are getting on the pump, they're in early, congratulations to you guys, you've definitely got some good gains here. I can't see you losing out too much from this point, especially with the risk adjusted return there. And uh, the people who are looking at here, it's probably the most high risk area at this point in time. Keep that in mind. All right guys, I'm gonna leave the XRP update there. Uh, I know from the comments, most people probably hadn't watched it if they disliked the video and give you some sort of nonsense in the comments. But anyway, it's a very emotional time for a lot of people. If you found some value from the video, leave us a like down here, subscribe and hit me on the bell notifications because YouTube has a way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content. I've appreciated your support this far, guys. You know I'm not a fanboy of many of these cryptocurrencies. We're here to make the dollars or as the millennials would say, Let's make that bread. Catch you in the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.